Thank you for joining us today. I'm Rachel, and today I'm interviewing Dr. McGowey. Dr. McGowey, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I have a, a, my practice is called Foundations Family Wellness. I'm a naturopathic doctor, and uh, I've been in practice going to my third year of practice. Um, and uh, I grew up here in Tascadero, and enjoyed being back. Uh, so, I, and I did my schooling in Portland, Oregon, at the National College of Natural Medicine. Great. All right. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the schooling for naturopathic medicine? Um, yes, it's a grueling program. <laughs> it's really grueling. Um, by the time all is said and done, um, we have about 5,000 or close to 5,000 um, hours as part of our schooling. It's a very um, interesting program because we not only have the um, uh, the basic um, basic and clinical sciences like you would find in an MD um, setting uh, or you know standard allopathic school um, but we also have um, the other systems of medicine that we must learn which um, are homeopathy hydrotherapy uh, nutrition herbal uh, medicine um, there's some other adjunct therapies that we use um, so it's we actually had um, we had some students that were MDs um, that they they would they would joke about how interesting it was that, um, going through an MD allopathic school versus going through a naturopathic school and um, they said it was much harder going through our school and but um, but very rewarding you learned so much in the program great how do you feel your role as a naturopathic doctor differs from that of a standard physician that's a good question um, it's it depends on um, it depends on the patient. I have a number of patients that I'm complimentary, so they have their primary care doctor, and they go see them for you know most everything. Then they'll come to see me for um, you know for basically if they've got a cold or something that um, where they just don't feel like their doctor's offering them very many options. And so um, so I've got a number of patients that you know that's that's what they want to have me you as know, their um, you know just as more of an adjunct. Um, and then I have other patients that. Uh, I, I basically act as primary care. They don't want anything to do with medication and they really um, they have very strong feelings about using the only the natural approach. So um, it's, it's really a pleasure to work with those patients because they really are open to learning more about um, the natural, um, you know, using more natural methods to really heal themselves. For me personally, the conditions I see most often are um, mostly women with thyroid disorders, which is extremely common in our country. Um, I see a lot of uh, a lot of autoimmunity. Um, that seems to be the autoimmunity, and then the, um, some female hormone balancing. That that seems to be the primary um, things that I see. But but it also runs runs the gamut. I see a lot of cardiovascular cases. Um, you know, a lot of um, diabetes. So um, really, that's <laughs> yeah. Again, kind of being a generalist. Uh, so yeah, that's great. As compared with an MD, do you feel that you're equally recognized for your medical knowledge and expertise? Um, again, it depends on who you ask. Um, I, I, currently, I'd say the paradigm um, the paradigm is shifting. So we are getting more recognized. Our national association has done an amazing job of um, giving us recognition. I think in the um, in the MD um, in a more allopathic world, I think it's it's still an uphill uphill road, um, and it's. Something I constantly have to work with, and um, the more I actually, and I know that's one of your other questions. The more I refer to MDs um, and to you know to my all, you know allied allopathic um, practitioners, um, the more credibility that I feel like I'm building and the profession's building because there really is um, we're not one versus the other. And that's what's great about my profession. Yeah, definitely. How do you feel naturopathy relates with nutrition? Um, well, nutrition is part and parcel to what what we are teaching our patients. Um, you know, I, I believe it was Hippocrates that said, um, "Let thy food be thy medicine," um, and so it is. That is one of the like it's one of the foundational things that is part of part of medicine. I think you can tell with some people if they, they have a good diet, they feel really awesome. They feel energetic. I know with my patients, it's that way. I, we do any kind of dietary shifts, and suddenly it's like, "Wow, I haven't felt this way in in years." And so yeah, that's because the other food that you're eating was very inflammatory and making you feel exhausted. So, um, so nutrition, basic foundation of what, what we're doing, in, at least in my office. Yeah, um, I think that's it for today.